Hello? Hey, what's what's going on, guys? Um, kind of unconfirmed at this point, but uh, it's been going around, and I've heard it from a few different people at this point, that Nike might be suing you guys for the whole Champion Max thing. What? What do you mean, what do I mean? You guys copied the Superfly 5. It's The Champion Max is a Superfly with the Joma logo on it. What do you mean you don't know what I'm talking about? Uh, all right. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye. What's going on, guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to answer a question that I know a lot of you guys have had on your minds over the last couple of months, and that is in regards to Joma, specifically the Champion Max, and that is why hasn't Nike sued Joma for essentially ripping off the Superfly 5? Well, not only am I gonna be answering that question in this video, I actually have some inside information as to what Nike might be thinking about doing in regards to this particular situation. So if you wanna learn more, please stick around. And if you guys do end up enjoying the video, don't forget to support it with a like. For those that aren't familiar with this situation, this is a Nike Mercurial Superfly 5. You're probably familiar with this shoe. It's been out for almost two years now, and it's very, very popular. This is the Joma Champion Max. It came out a couple of months ago, and as you can see by the design of the upper, it is very similar to that of the Superfly 5. A lot of people would say it's a complete ripoff, and I would agree with those people. Now, if you haven't seen my review of the Joma Champion Max, I'll leave a little pop-up on screen. I go over all the little details across the entire upper as well as the sole plate, which the sole plate's not a direct copy of the Superfly, but it is kind of a direct copy of the sprint frame from the Adidas X16 and 17 generation. So they copied kind of two shoes with this particular model, but obviously the upper is the more distinctive aspect. So for those that want to call coincidence on the design similarities, I just don't think that's the case. If you look at something as minute as the detail of the little triangle in the collar, why would that have to be on the Champion Max as well. It has nothing to do with really the structure. It's purely a design element. So I don't think there's any denying that Joma straight up ripped off the Superfly 5 here. The question is, why hasn't Nike sued them? I want this to be very clear. I am not in direct contact with either Joma or Nike. I haven't been in contact with Joma for years now. I remember they sent me maybe some Joma top flexes way back three or four years ago, but that was it. Since then, I have not heard from them. I have not been in contact with them whatsoever. I got the Joma Champion Max by buying them myself. It was a product that I had seen online. I was interested in reviewing it. A few of you guys had suggested it as well. So I wanted to bring it in because I thought it was a really kind of interesting, but also goofy product. And I obviously have not been shy about sharing my opinion. I do not think that this is something that Joma should have done at all. I've made fun of it a lot on the channel if you regularly watch the videos. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. But again, I'm an independent reviewer. I'm not a store, I'm not selling this product, I'm not selling any Nike products. I simply give my opinion, whether that's good or bad, I'm brutally honest. I think that's why a lot of people watch my channel. And if I'm being 100% honest, I think something like this is a little bit disgusting. Joma is a very well-established brand. They do make good products, especially their indoor futsal line. But for them to just straight up rip off a Nike shoe and rebrand it as their own, I don't think is right whatsoever, which is partially why I've made so much fun of these. Then, Nike. Uh, I really am not in direct contact with Nike at all either. Um, they'll contact me from time to time, once in a blue moon, when they're doing a brand new product release or something like that, and they want to send me a pair for review. But again, that doesn't really happen all that often. So for the most part, I'm really not in contact with either of these two brands. But I did mention earlier that I do have a little bit of inside information. Who I am in direct contact with on a regular basis is a few different online soccer retailers who carry Nike products. And because they carry Nike products, they are in direct contact with Nike on a regular basis. And from what I've been told from a couple different online retailers is that they've been talking with Nike and Nike had mentioned to them whether or not they know me because they actually saw my videos of the Joma Champion Max about two weeks after they went up and found out about the existence of this shoe in the first place. So 
What does that mean? It means that Nike hasn't actually known about the Joma Champion Max until fairly recently. Apparently they found out from my videos. I can't confirm whether or not that is 100% true, but given that there aren't really too many other videos of this on the internet, then I can only assume that it is true. I'm not sure really what that means other than maybe these brands are watching and hearing what I have to say from time to time, but I definitely thought that was a little bit funny. And the reason why this is important to note is because Nike didn't find out about these until fairly recently. And if you know anything about suing brands, uh, brands suing other brands, it's a very lengthy process. These uh, lawsuits that get launched, uh, they take a very long time. I've made videos on this channel before talking about Adidas suing Puma and other brands suing other brands. And they don't even get revealed to the public until they're in process of kind of going through all of the legal ramifications and all the, I don't even, I don't want to talk about lawyer stuff because I don't really know the process, but it generally takes a very long time until anything is even leaked to the public. And then like a year or two after that until a decision is actually made. So what I'm getting at here is I definitely think that Nike is probably very, very likely in the process of suing Joma for the Champion Max, but we're probably not gonna hear about it for at least a little bit longer. I'm expecting something to be published online at some point in the near future, but until that happens, I cannot confirm at all whether or not Nike is planning on suing Joma, but I really don't see why they wouldn't here. So if Nike is in fact suing Joma, does Joma actually have any chance at defending themselves in a lawsuit against them? And honestly, I don't know the specifics of what is and isn't considered copying when it comes to shoe designs and lawsuits and stuff like that. But I can say that I definitely think that they copied the Superfly 5 close enough to where they would have a very difficult time defending themselves. But again, I think it would depend on the judge and really what the specific details of what is and isn't legal are, which I personally do not know. What I can say though, is that this is basically the equivalent of a counterfeit product to a certain extent. The difference being, because I know a lot of people have asked me why counterfeits even exist, doesn't Nike have a group of lawyers or people who are actively pursuing these people making knockoff products and shutting them down? The issue with that is counterfeit products is basically organized crime. I've talked about this a lot in my fake review series. If you haven't seen one of those videos, I'll leave a little pop-up on screen. But basically a counterfeit product is people who have organized the factory to recreate or replicate, make a copy of a very popular product. In this case, we're talking about soccer cleats, where as an example, you can get a fake Superfly 5 for $50 rather than $300. Is that fake Superfly anything more than just something that looks like a Superfly? No, the performance characteristics are awful, the fit is awful, the quality is awful, the materials are terrible, and the shoes basically fall apart right away. But people think they're getting a good deal because they don't necessarily know any better. However, the reason why those places don't get shut down is because they're very smart about what they do. There's really no address for Nike to find them. They're generally located on the other side of the world, so that complicates things as well. And they just start up whatever sketchy website domain name they want. Nike Mercurial Superflies for cheap.com. People go on the website, they spend their $50, and after a couple of weeks or so, when Nike catches on on what's happening with that website, they get it shut down, and guess what? Those guys just start up a new website and they continue doing what they're doing. In the case of Joma, this is an established legitimate company. Joma is a Spanish-based company for those that don't know, and obviously Nike knows exactly where to find them. So what's gonna be their basis of defense for basically just ripping off a Nike product? That I do not know, and I, I really don't see how they could win any kind of lawsuit against them. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much the situation. I wanted to give you guys an update because this is something that I recently was told by a couple different online retailers, and I thought it was really interesting and worth sharing with you guys because it does show that the videos that I'm making on a regular basis, the videos that you guys are watching, are being noticed by some of these bigger brands. So leave your comments, leave your suggestions whenever I review a product for changes that you'd like to see made because now we basically have direct confirmation that these brands are watching and listening to what us, the boot enthusiast community actually has to say. So uh, that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts on this situation. Do you think Joma has any chance of defending themselves here? Do you think they even did anything wrong? I'd be really curious to know your questions or your opinions on it down below in the comments. And if you do have any questions for me at all, 
Leave that down below in the comment section as well. And I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to support it with a like. Uh, if you aren't following me on social media, all of my social media information is linked down below in the description as well. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. All my social media information is linked down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.